The second lockdown is already underway here in Blackpool, but how does everything look now that we're under lockdown at the end of the season? Well, let's take a look. But before we do, make sure you are subscribed to the channel for more of these videos over the next coming few weeks. And why not hit that notification bell as well so you know when these videos are live on our channel. Make sure you hit the like button anytime if you've enjoyed this video to let myself and others know that you've enjoyed it. Why not join us each Friday night for Friday Night Live here on the Fal Coast, here on the channel. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to another In Blackpool video. We are back with the Blackpool videos for the first lockdown video. It's a Saturday in November and we're starting down here at South Shore just by Boulevard Hotel in Big Blue and the big one drop and may I say how beautiful the weather is today, not a single cloud in the sky. Typically it's like lockdown weather, this is what we had in the uh, springtime when we was in lockdown. This is lockdown version two. Not quite the same as the original lockdown that we had back in March time. There's a fair few people around, a lot of people doing exercises. Still a few cars around as well. And we're gonna take you down here. We're gonna take you from here all the way down to where Waterloo is, passing the pier and the attractions as we go and taking a different look of how it looks out of season and during lockdown like i said we'll take a look at the beach as well the sea today is so calm you can see just down here so there's a lot of people there doing their daily exercise this is what we're going to be doing as well i've do doing my walks and i thought why not take you with us on here showing you a different part of Blackpool today during lockdown and um, the Pleasure Beach was meant to be open today for their first winter weekend and what gorgeous weather it would have been for it perfect riding conditions today it's a little bit chilly but it's expected this time of year but no no Pleasure Beach now that will be closed until February which has been brought back Sorry, brought forward a week. So first weekend of February, the Pleasure Beach will return, hopefully. Obviously it's a few months away, so things can change between now and then. Uh, but maintenance has started. I'm gonna walk down here, we're gonna take you down Ocean Boulevard and show you what's uh, going on, or what's not going on as it is. Uh, lots of people taking advantage of the sunshine Lots of cyclists, lots of dog walkers, and lots of fellow walkers doing what we're doing today. Now as we head this way, north towards South Pier. Now there's not a lot of activity going on. You can obviously see Ocean Boulevard here. The hotels are closed. Ocean Boulevard and Big Blue will be closed. Let's take a walk just down here. And to here where we are now at Watson Road Bridge and of course the entrance of South Beach Car Park. A couple of cars in there, this is normally what it looks like at this time of year, out of season anyway, but still a few people around here. Like I said, there's not a lot of activity going on down here. However, there is a Pizza Hut on the promenade and myself, I always forget there's a Pizza Hut on here. But they are open for takeaway on the promenade there, playing quite loud music. So I'm not gonna go any closer because I don't wanna get copyrighted. But so let's uh, take you through the South Beach arches and have another 
walk towards the promenade again. See these cars are here, probably come a little bit inland from Blackpool with their bikes and uh, taking advantage of this weather here, the prom. And you are allowed to go out and about. It's not a full lockdown where you can't go out. He does say stay at home, uh, but you are allowed to leave for exercise uh, in your own bubbles whether that's on your own but we're going to be bringing you a few videos in the next few weeks to help you through these days wherever you are bringing Blackpool to you and I'll uh, speak about my lives and other videos very shortly so stay tuned for that Very calm sea today as the tide's making its way in. Can't see whales today. And then in the far distance there, the tide organ, very well requested. And we're gonna zoom over to that right now. And here it is in all its glory, the infamous tide organ a lot of requests have been put out for this as well it's been featured on the channel a fair few times and if you wonder how this works there is a few tubes on the uh, sea wall and uh, when the tide comes in the, the the sea pushes the air up those tubes and effectively up the structure and then out of different pipes up there blowing different types of melodies out of there it's only can be heard during a high tide, especially if the sea's a little bit rougher than it is today. So on a uh, calm day, you don't really hear it, but that's a uh, tide organ here on South Beach, which if you're unsure where it is, it's opposite Blackpool's north entrance here. Like I say, there's South Beach here, South Beach car park, looking very, very quiet. Now the good news is there is maintenance going on at the Pleasure Beach as we speak. Uh, there's like carriages being taken off tracks. However, there's not a lot of activity going on on the park, as you can see over there. And for those that are wondering about trams, trams are still running here on the Fal Coast between Stargate and Fleetwood. However, some of them do stop at Little Bispam, uh, which is the uh, turnaround point just after the Bispam area so trams are still running uh, however they are deemed to be for essential journeys only very quiet around here still a fair few cars traveling up and down the promenade uh, now and again and quite a still like I said before few fair few people wandering around especially on bikes and walking dogs as we head north towards South Pier we're going to take a little walk around this area show you everything out of season now normally this time of year uh, this is typically what it looks like anyway uh, with the illuminations uh, being switched off at night uh, a lot of debates whether the season would have ended on this sunday uh, officially for 2020 it would have been um, last week but typically for blackpool it's usually this weekend uh, i found it a bit odd at the beginning of the year that it was uh, technically last week uh, but nevertheless this is what it typically looks like sandcastle there in the background i've had an all right season from what i've gathered i've had a few sellout days especially october half term uh, so they're obviously closed until later in the year uh, whether they open in december uh, they normally open out of season uh, like weekends only so it'd be nice to see them back as well obviously pleasure beaches adventure golf there obviously won't be open doesn't tend to be open this time of year now blackpool council did announce that the toilets would still be open in blackpool however the new toilets here uh, have decided to remain closed now these are have been open uh, through um, 2020 
uh, but they have decided to close them as you can see sorry we're closed <laughs> I'm there Uh, but obviously there's not a lot of people around here to warrant them being open Obviously there was as you would have seen a kiosk sign as well They were planning on opening a kiosk there, but it's not been viable for them to open that yet uh, So that has remained closed And then slightly unloved section of South Shore here It's had numerous attractions on here such as a live ghost train many years ago on here uh, there's also an old gardens um, dating back some time ago and the signage here is actually for the old ghost train that used to be here and the signage still remains uh, buses are still running you may have just seen one pass before uh, again for essential journeys only and as we get to a bit of more of a, an iconic area of Blackpool South you can see South Pier in the distance there And of course Weatherspoons. Weatherspoons is also closed for obvious reasons. Uh, so we won't be seeing them until at least December. Uh, but uh, Weatherspoons Velvet Coaster have done well since reopening in the summer. There's always been a fair queue around here. Ample signage as well in the area. Uh, but of course they are closed. And if you're wondering if there's any shops open, there has been a few shops open. As you can see, we're just passing this hot dog stall here. So whether this is classed as essential, it's not really for me to say. Uh, they are operating. So this place is still open here. And for ice cream. Well, at least I think they're open anyway. They might be, I'm not too sure. Uh, well, there's a sign there, so they must be. Uh, Chippies, there's not many open because you may already may or may not already know this uh, but it's actually really hard to find chippies again for obvious reasons uh, of why they won't be open uh, so nothing really happening down here absolutely desolate down there markets closed all the hotels closed for the season uh, lucky star arcade closed again and south pier regardless would have been open today uh, whether it was in season or not so obviously uh, they are closed today and then you can see as we cross over very little traffic around here Got blinded by the sun there uh, but yes uh, south pier closed now as far as the piers are concerned, the piers won't be reopening as far as we're aware for the out of season December. Sometimes they do open weekends in December and close throughout January. We know for sure that uh, Central Pier will be closed until next year. However, they are going to plan to open their amusement arcades which are at the front of the arcade. Uh, sorry, front of the pier which is this one here and Central Piers. Uh, that is the current plan if everything goes well. Uh, for lockdown purposes if they lift it in December uh, obviously if they don't then they won't be reopening and then here we have the beach of water under the pier there now obviously people are still working on the pier there's still uh, maintenance going on on the piers especially central pier as they are still removing the deficit of the, the fire from in the summer uh, exercise is going on here as well a lot of people on the beach you are able now to take your dog on this part of the beach in the summer you're not allowed to um, but out of season dogs now are allowed on this beach so if you plan on bringing your dog to the beach you can now go on here and just make sure you bring your doggy bags and look after the beach here in Blackpool for well, absolute fine weather today here I think it's going to be like this for a couple of days. Lots of hotels on the promenade as well, obviously closed for obvious reasons. It just doesn't look so different, doesn't it, out of season. 
and especially on a Saturday they still probably would have been operating you'd still see cars on here Hall Tilliers this year have had such a bad year and you know I speak for a lot of people as well but October half turn here is one of the busiest places in the UK and unfortunately due to tier 3 at the time it was probably one of the quietest seaside resorts in the UK this year so hopefully Holtilliers will survive and bounce back next year. We can only hope. As well as a lot of other businesses, local businesses as well. Whether that be the Pleasure Beach, the piers, the arcades, seaside stalls on the prom fish and chip shops, restaurants, you name it, if it's a business, everyone's had a difficult year and obviously we're bringing you these additional videos throughout the next few weeks to help you through lockdown, obviously we are going to be live as well, if you're familiar to the channel, we go live on Friday night here in Blackpool and we're additionally bringing you uh, extra Monday day lives in different parts of Blackpool so hopefully you can join us for that if you're new new to this channel you know hit a subscribe and make sure you join us for these lives like I say trams are still running as normal as you can see what we'll do we'll box off the video just down here we're going to do a few different videos rather than doing the whole walk we're going to do sections of Blackpool over the next weeks days or so so make sure you join us for these it's nice to get out and about for exercise walks as well so I'd like to take you on my journey and show you around I just can't believe how nice the weather is today it's unbelievable seems to be a, a theme for lockdown weather this because it was like this during the spring and then just down here we have a McDonald's which is also open for takeaways only so what we have to sit inside uh, but they are open as well And then obviously between here and Central isn't a lot happening but it's nice if you're local to Blackpool or you're not too far away and you're able to get here it's an absolute gorgeous day like this it's so nice to actually walk down this promenade on days like this although it's very chilly so that is South Shore in all its glory Blackpool South as you see there's not a right lot going on but you're not going to expect that anyway so we're going to leave the video here thank you for joining us like i say if you're not already subscribed to the channel please do if you've enjoyed seeing what you've seen give us a like make sure you join us for our lives on monday daytimes and friday nights also follow us on our facebook which is pt vlogs uk everything you need to know about the lives are going to be on there we've also got instagram and twitter which is pt vlogs underscore uk but for today here on blackpool south we'll leave you here thank you for joining us we'll see you again very soon on another video of in blackpool take care see you later <laughs>